Alright, so this thing just came in um, from Hong Kong. Um, yeah, I didn't get to find it when I went back to Hong Kong, but um, I took the plunge and ordered it um, through uh, eBay, actually, um, from um, Gundam Pro Shop. Uh, dot com. I don't know if they're affiliate to G Systems or anything, but they sell a lot of resins and stuff and have relatively good feedback. So I bought it from there instead of uh, a few of these other Chinese places. Um, even on eBay, you know, they sell the same stuff. But um, and I also bought the stand um, from G Systems because um, they were selling these. Figure it'll probably work pretty well uh, with uh, what's under there um, anyway so I bought this stand and of course this is the main guy um, it's huge um, I'm pretty sure there's lots of other um, you know YouTube videos of this guy already see if I could get it out of the damn box. Anyway. So, um, in the meantime, I'll still work on the, uh, Hyper Zeta. Um, but because some of the quality issues with, um, sorry, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed while I'm trying to hold on to the phone, but you can already see the legs of this guy, this bad mother effort. Uh, let's see what it is. Binders. Yeah. Um, tons of Chinese and stuff. Um, yep. So, um, so it came in a big box, um, very nice, well packed, um, as always, uh, I guess that's what the good feedbacks are all about. Um, so this, the one I bought, at least I thought, um, is the, not the original batch, not the, not the one with the exclusive hands and decal, or extra decals, and, uh, the sabers, uh, LED sabers, because um, I saw some of the reviews and regarding the quality issues of this guy. Um, so, this one I believe is the second batch without all those extras. Um, they basically knocked 30 bucks off of it, um, which is fine. Um, but, you know. Hopefully, quality issues are not as prevalent as the first one, first batch. Um, so, again, they can't use the name uh, Shachia from uh, Gundam Unicorn. So, they call this Katrisha, I guess that's how you pronounce it, uh, or Atrisha. Because the K is supposed to be silent, that's what I heard. Um, anyway, um, yeah, this is the Elin Hobby um, Kshatriya uh, injection kit. Um, not the resin kit. Um, box is relatively big. Um, let's see if I could find something to compare it with. Um, Sorry, give me one second. Uh, try to get some of those away. So, here's a box. Sorry, I got crap on the other side of it. Uh, maybe I can move it. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm still working on that. Now, my Hyper Zeta is taken apart. Um, I'm trying to use this um, really nice scribing knife that I got from Hong Kong um, it works pretty well in um, trying to do some of these lines uh, or do a deeper uh, I'm not sure if you can see it um, but 
I'm trying to d get those uh, panel lines a little deeper um, so it shows a little better um, and then um, some of the legs are glued um, anyway but that's not the reason why I'm showing this video this is right okay so comparison that is my 1248 um, Hyper Zeta from G Systems box. Um, Death wise, it's yeah, the Kshatriya is deeper and longer and uh, wider um, for obvious reasons um, because it's got like tons of these little trays with individual parts that there's. You know, as uh, part of their um, so-called selling point, I suppose. Um, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Um, so the box is pretty nice. It's got a kind of like a matte finish. Um, the picture itself is kind of glossy. Um, this is like matte finish. The rest. The, this picture, this guy right here is kind of glossy. I think you can see it from the reflection from the light. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, they, I think they did a really good job on the box. That's for sure. Um, if anything else, uh, and of course, I can't do this one-handed. So give me one second. can't even seem to do it two-handed. Oh, of course. That could be a reason why. Because there's tape. Ah, what a dumbass. Okay. Hobby knife. So, how did I even miss that? Um, so again, I'm not um, stopping on the Hyper Zeta, but more um, because um, some of the quality issues. Um, so there's the internal frame. Because of the quality issues uh, relating to the first batch, um, they have a, I think, a 10 day parts replacement thing on here for this. So. Ooh, I didn't even notice. So, kind of cool. Actually, these are cut-throughs. I didn't even notice that until I start opening the box. Um, so, they actually cut these out. Um, I just that, thought that that was part of the box. Um, but, again, you know, didn't spend like... 300 bucks for the box. Uh, let's see what's inside. All right. Ooh. Fancy. Photo edge. Um. It looks like the internal frame thing. Um. Um, so I saw some reviews online and uh, YouTube and things. Actually, I haven't seen many uh, whips on YouTube. I'm not sure why. Maybe everybody's busy. Um, but they seem to have been um, building or buying these. Um, but not really putting these together, I suppose. Um, anyway, uh, instructions, decals. Um, AD instructions, uh, internal frame legs, blah blah blah, uh, binders, um, it's got the nice Elaine logo on there, um, and it actually comes with two of these um, saber things, so it's not as bad, um, you know. I could 
probably see if I could hook some lights or LEDs to them. Um, so, uh, you know, hook it up to the main battery. Maybe I could get these these guys to work. Kind of like um, how I had it in my um, uh, Master Ray New. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my other, um, some of my whips for those things. Um, see, see, these. Uh, the rechargeable battery. Um, so, binders. This is the internal internal frame um, so basically I believe this frame is a G systems frame uh, but injection um, not uh, the resin version um, because I have the one um, I have the 1 to 100 sasabi version 2 I believe with the internal frame and I think the frame looks pretty much the same um, so I read a lot about trying to opening these top trays um, to uh, make sure like none of these starts to fly off and stuff like that um, uh, ooh. Stress marks. Uh, that's probably not very good. Are they stress marks? They kind of look like stress marks. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so this one has two of these little tiny pieces in the same hole. So. Uh, so again, these things are not numbered, so probably have to kind of find it. Um.